coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. There's an aura about any type of overseas buffalo that just, I think, really drives any hunter. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold it in the middle. Uh, the left, your other left. To the right, just put it in the center. There. Hey, welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week we are still down under, down under in Australia. With Leaf and Valley, with George and all the stewards, and I mean, it's such a great time down there. I already have my water buff down. Yes. It's your turn, you're up. We've got lots to show. Uh, we, I mean, we're sharing it with RJ. We, we, we're just having a blast. And, and I'm going to tell you, if you've never thought about Australia, you need to. Absolutely. Because it's, I mean, it's just, wow, it's awesome. It was a bucket list for us. And you know what? We're filling that bucket. Yeah. What happens when you fill it? Do you ever it's, think of the that? The bucket will never be full, ever. Your bucket is, like, huge. It just is. I just know it. That's a good thing, I think. It is a good Because when the bucket's full... As long as it's full with things that you want it to be full of. Oh, it's full. <laughs> it's full. Australian water buffalo. When you see them, you just see the power, you see the strength. And you, there, there's an aura about any type of overseas buffalo that just, I think, really drives any hunter to say, oh man, you know, I want to test not only my skills and my abilities, but I want to test my equipment. And when it comes to bow hunting, that's what we've always been about. And Vicki and I, we did a lot of testing. We ended up using our Easton full metal jacket, dangerous big game animal air, arrow shafts. And then, I mean, we fletched them with our true flight feathers. We got our arrows over 900 grains. We went to our NAP two blade that's not made anymore, but we still had some around. And I, I mean, we had everything that you could possibly imagine. Vicky trained, she was up to 71 pounds. Yep, Vic was drawn back without an issue, 71 pounds. It was, you know, it was really cool to watch that progression as she worked out to get that, you know, up to 70, 71 pounds and shooting it great. And, you know, it was just, everything about it adds to the adventure. We did, we did penetration tests. We did all these types of things, but you gotta remember, we've also had a lot of experience because I had shot my buffaloes, our Cape buffaloes, and Vicki shot hers the year before, you know, last year. So, so we had a lot of in the field practical testing, plus the knowledge and experience that we had before that, and it just added to a, well, creating a good combo. Well, it's my time. Yeah, Vicky got her big bull. Now, it's my turn, and I can't wait. I got the big G with us, so, and I got the family. We got Tony here, he's supervising. Let's go to the Outback. Carry on, mate. <laughs> Now it's Ralph's turn. Let's see if we can just get across the river first. Whichever one, whichever one you prefer. Ooh. Maybe not this one. You know, sooner or later, it's a bound to happen. We're gonna get stuck with George driving. Yeah, but you know, we, we gotta, I also gotta defend George. Oh yeah? He, yeah, he drove through some really thick stuff. He knocked and over made trees it. and rolled over twilight yeah. mounds. He's got that Land Cruiser, man. That thing will go sooner anywhere. Sooner or later, we're gonna get stuck. I would love to, nah, well, maybe a couple times. <laughs> I don't know. I've got rope though. Nothing's much moving at the moment. There's something burning though. Something's burning. Unless that's the water on the muffler. No, it's bloody that winch. I hope it doesn't burn out.
Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wouldn't mind if everyone jumped out, if that's all right, just... Yep. Well, the root systems are shallow in the sand. We've been stuck for a, a little while. We've been stuck for a long time. But we'll, he'll figure it out. He well, will. the he thing will. is, is there's... The, the, I got faith in there's, sure. there's nothing to really winch onto. Everything's got such shallow roots. They're falling over, and you know We're the worst sand, part. Honey. But the worst part is now there's smoke coming out from underneath the vehicle. Yeah. You know when you have that much smoke coming out of a vehicle, something's not right. Oh, that was not right. That was brutal. It's just a clutch, hey. Yeah, I've got a new clutch at the man. I'm not going to do any more damage to it. Just need to change. Yeah. Now that the crew has survived that event, it's time to get serious about finding a bull for Rao. We spotted a big bull. Bedded down right on the river. Dry river. Betty's facing that way. We got the wind in our face. Ralph and George move in to get a better look, but while they're making their way, they spot another bull feeding and decide to stalk in for a shot as this could be Ralph's opportunity. It's the heat of the day, and we got a buffalo right in the middle of the riverbed, up on a little peninsula bedded down, big old dug a boy all by himself. We got so close, everything was perfect, and then all of a sudden, the gun falls. Now, nobody touched it. No. Nothing, it, I mean, it was solid, it was. You know, sometimes it happens that way, and you know, you're pretty sure no one touched it, right? No. What happened? What is it? This here. What gun? <laughs> you bent around like that and then all my arrows here. Did my arrows here? Oh you liar. Ralph's away for another suicide attempt. So a bit of back up. This is cool. Use of this may cause really? injury or death. MTD, that's my brand. <laughs> okay. Well, he's going to run with you guys there. and I'm armed up to a dangerous animal. 
Well, George just went in to get a bite to eat real fast and he brought out his like his vehicle. And it's like, look at that Toyota, man. That's that's top shelf here in the Outback. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort of make it a signature series. Look at the mad George of the Outback, right? Yep. <laughs> here you go, come here. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Mad George of the Outback. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, graffiti. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Seriously, do you have what? a problem with like paint and markers and stuff? First, it's our boat you got to go and camouflage. Nick, now you're now you're doing. I'm an Italian George's... from the city. What do you think? I love graffiti, man. I gotta I gotta decorate stuff. Ralph proved his prowess in art a few episodes back with painting up the war boat for battle. Now it looks like the Aboriginal rock art has inspired him to put his mark on George's vehicle. The artistic itch has been scratched, so now it's time to focus on the hunt. We spotted a good bull as we came around the bend. He's probably a few hundred yards up this way. We got the wind in our favor. As we stopped, we just saw some kangaroos. Crazy. This is crazy. Check. Check the wind. There are certain things that you definitely you become a parent of right away and that is one George knows the land he knows where the animals are at any given time it's amazing because he was telling us as we're driving he's saying well I want to get in this area later on today and you're like okay and what happens is those bulls are up high or I should say all the buffalo are up high and it seems like all the game are normally up high and then they work slower as the heat comes they work down into these water valley valleyways and I mean to see this to experience it and to see as men as I mean buffalo everywhere and you start to think oh this is gonna be an, this is gonna be a cakewalk it ain't no cakewalk Sorry, I, man, I, I held them for 40. Yeah, 30 no one. It didn't hit them. That's better than hitting them bad. But I'm kind of grouchy. Okay, I missed. And, and I gotta tell it you. It happens. I don't know, it, it, I, it was me. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, I don't know if I dropped my arm. You know, and, and I don't know if I actually moved my pin up, yeah. Ralph didn't connect, so the bull never really knew what was going on. George and Ralph both agreed to continue their pursuit of the bull and hope another chance would present itself. And they were right.
He's bucket. He's bucket. Oh. He's bucket. He is bucket. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That made up for my 40 yard miss right there, I'm telling you right now, because that's bow hunting. He called him, George called him up and he just came right up. And you know, he, I, I tried to keep this tree right here so he did, you know, and, and George said, I, I heard him say 25. So, you know, I brought, I brought my Ranger over down to 20 and I was like, I'm gonna just gap him. And I leaned over and he's right there. I came to full draw, I made sure George was clear and it was that staring down. And he gave a couple more moans and it was like he, he had it. And he was just getting ready. And instead of trying to take a shot with him running, man, I put it right there. Oh. Oh. This is the place. <laughs> yep. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Jeez. Oh, oh man. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Unbelievable. I'm telling you what. I just had, I missed one at like 39 or 40 yards. Watch that arrow drop right below, right on the crease. And I, I'm not going to kid you. I'm not going to lie to you. Man, I was down. You know what I mean? And everyone's saying, come on, suck it up. You know what I mean? And yeah. Because it is. And George is like, don't worry, we'll have more opportunity. And that's the big thing. Here at Leith Valley, I, I, I can't tell you how many bulls we've seen. And he, George goes, well, what are you looking for? I said, I don't know, right? I mean, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Vicky, RJ, we didn't know. We just, I just like how they, I like when they lay out. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, knowing that we're shooting at, you know, close to 80 pounds. And, and I mean, I can take that shot. Yeah. Well, last time I range found him, he was at, 16 and then I range found him again and the range finder wouldn't work. So he was close. He was too close for the range finder. Beautiful shot. Ugh. I mean when you got that shot, that's a risky shot, but at that range you can do it. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank buddy. you. I'll tell you what, it was everything and then some. I know, you know, we had Australia on our bucket list. We met I met up with George, you know, at a show and Lethan Valley and he's like Y'all ought to, I can't do an Aussie. Y'all, no, I'm not I even going to try think, it. But George think. said, he said we, we should go down there and bring RJ with us. And yep. you know what? It was an amazing trip. And congratulations on your buffalo. Thank you. And you know what's cool is George told us, he said, you know, if I try this calling. Yeah. They, they might and, come straight in at you. And you have to take the shot. Right. And he told us where. And I had that little, I put that little X where I was, where he where, kept where talking. Where he kept talking. And, and man, you, we. Which is good. I'm glad you did it when you did it because yes. I was getting a little nervous standing back there with the third angle camera lens there. And I mean, he, it could have been ugly if he had it was decided awesome. to. It was awesome. And then some. George, everyone at Leith and Valley, thank, thank you so, so much. much for doing that. You know what, RJ, he shot a water buck in a scrubble. He's still hunting, so you got to keep in tune. Sooner or later, you're going to see that one. Huh? Yes. We want to thank you for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next time. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. It was really in the amazing. Outback. And we We're filled part of our bucket list you know I mean that here's my is, question yeah. was the underwear that you bought in Australia the same that like here no it was really weird because it was down under oh <laughs> it was oh, so bad God.